Hi, I'm Tony Verhoeven, technical trainer for Polaris Industries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the ski and snowboard rack kit on this Pro RMK. Before you begin the install, it's important to check and make sure you have all of your parts and all of your tools. Please retain the installation instructions for future reference and parts ordering. Before installing the racks, we'll need to go to the instructions and find the correct template for our application. So we're installing on a Pro RMK 155 axis. So I'll go ahead and flip through the instructions until I find the axis RMK 155 front mount template and rear mount template. I'll go ahead and remove those pages from the instructions. And then what I'm going to do is cut out each of these templates for drilling the holes on the machine. It's important to note if we're printing these instructions from a PDF file or an electronic copy, you do need to make sure you select print actual size when printing the file. Using the instructions, we've determined the location to place our template. So I'm going to go ahead and fit that up to the machine. Verify it's properly placed. And then using a marker, there's two blue holes in the template. We're going to go ahead and mark the center of those holes. And that'll give us the place where we should drill in with our quarter inch drill bit. So before we drill through, we're going to verify that there's nothing behind that we're drilling into. No coolers and the track is out of the way. So I'll go ahead and center up on my marks. With the holes drilled, we'll go ahead and install the mounting bracket. You'll note that there's a spacer that comes with the bracket. If you're using the Extreme Duty rear bumper, you do not need to install this spacer. In our case, we have the stock bumper, so we're going to put the spacer, then the bracket up to the machine, and I'll feed my Torx bolts through from the back side of the tunnel. And with those in position, we can install the two 10 millimeter nylock nuts included in the kit. We'll come back and snug down these fasteners, but we don't want to tighten them completely. We'll finish tightening them when we do the final alignment and we have the front bracket installed as well. Next, we're going to drill the holes for the front mounting bracket. In the same manner we did with the rear, we'll put the template onto the machine, lining up the rivets and the cutout in the tunnel. And then I'll mark my upper and lower bolt location. It's important to note that the running board may be in the way to drill the hole. We're gonna have to mark the lower hole with a small pilot bit and then drill through from the back side so we have access to that location. The upper hole we can drill just like we did on the rear. I'm gonna lightly mark this lower hole with a center punch. It's in a pretty difficult location to drill. So I'll just tap that and then I'll come through with a smaller pilot bit. So with the pilot hole drilled, I'll go ahead and bring my quarter inch bit through the back side. And finish drilling out that hole. It's important to note that when we're drilling these holes, you want to make sure that there's no track lugs in front of those holes. If you need to, you can rotate the track slightly to get the lug out of the way. With the holes drilled, we're ready to mount the front bracket. I'll use the bolts provided in the kit. So I'll take a bolt and a washer through from the back side, put that on, and then I'll install the lower bolt. And with both of those installed, we can come back and put on the 10 millimeter nuts. I'll go ahead and snug these bolts down, 
but I don't want to completely tighten them until we set up the brackets and make sure everything is aligned. With the mounting brackets loosely installed on the machine, we're ready to start fitting up the rack assembly. Provided in the kit will be some square headed bolts. Those will drop into the track on the tunnel and then we'll loosely place the mounting rack onto the machine. We can make some minor adjustments, and make sure everything fits up nicely. Then I'll carefully remove the rack and then torque these bolts down. With the bracket bolts tight, we can reinstall the mounting rack. And then I'll go ahead and install a provided washer and nut. And then snug that down and come back and torque it to specification. The front mounting process is the same as the rear. We'll install the bolt. Set the bracket into position. Snug down the fasteners. With the fasteners torqued to specification, we can install the mounting rack. And we'll come back and install a washer and a 10 millimeter nut provided in the kit. And we'll go ahead, snug this down, and then torque to specification.